What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 Slim and what to do if you're experiencing the blue lights of death. Let's get right into this. The blue light of death has been around since the PlayStation 4 days and I've made numerous videos about the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5 and now we have the PlayStation 5 Slim because a lot of people are experiencing this issue. Essentially what is happening is whenever you try to turn on your PlayStation 5 it is going to have the blinking blue lights, it's never going to change to the white light and it's never going to connect to the TV, it's just going to be a blinking blue light. Now there is a few things to try to resolve the issue and get your PlayStation 5 working properly once again. The first thing you're going to want to do is to power cycle your PlayStation 5 Slim. To do this, you're going to disconnect the power cable from the back of the console and you're going to wait about 30 seconds. Then before you connect everything back up with it still unplugged, you're going to press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. This is essentially going to drain all of the remaining power that's inside that console out. After pressing the power button for the 10 seconds, you're going to go ahead and connect the power cord back to the PlayStation 5 and you're going to attempt to turn on the PlayStation 5 and see if it did resolve the blue light of death. Next, if power cycling your console did not work for you, you're going to want to check the connections. In most cases, this is what will resolve the issues with the blue light of death. You're going to want to ensure that all cables, including the HDMI and power cord, are securely connected to the PlayStation 5 and the TV. You're going to want to also check the HDMI cable on both ends and the power cord for any damage on it. It is also recommended to try using a different HDMI cable. I know myself, I always have spare HDMI cables, so if I ever experience the blue light of death, I will simply try first replacing the HDMI cable. In most cases, even if you don't see any damage, sometimes there is damage internally in the HDMI cable. Also, if your TV does have multiple HDMI ports, it's recommended to try switching to a different HDMI port. I know my TV back here, one of the HDMI ports does not work, and that is what was causing the blue light of death for me. Now the next thing to try is to try entering safe mode. Now if your PlayStation 5 Slim is even not allowing you to access safe mode, then just move past this step. But if your PlayStation 5 Slim is at least allowing you to enter safe mode, then first you're going to want to try doing the restarts option, which is the first option in safe mode. To enter safe mode, you're going to want to press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. This should normally launch safe mode. If it does appear on your screen, you're going to want to connect a USB cable to your controller to be able to use the options. Now if you're able to access safe mode, the first thing you want to do is select option number one and that is to restart the console. This is just a better way to restart the console. I recommend trying that first. If restarting the PlayStation 5 in safe mode did not work for you, try entering safe mode again and this time try rebuilding the database. So you're going to select that option and you're going to go through the on-screen steps to complete this process. It might take a little bit longer, so be patient. It just depends on how much you have saved on your PlayStation 5 Slim. Now once again, keep in mind, not everybody has the option to enter safe mode if they're experiencing the blue light of death. Sometimes it won't even connect to your TV, but in a lot of cases, if you can't even access safe mode, usually it's an HDMI issue. Either the ports on your PlayStation 5 Slim might be damaged or something else is going on, but usually it is an HDMI issue. Unfortunately, if you tried all the methods that I shared in this video and it's still not working for you, then it's recommended to, if your PlayStation 5 is under warranty, try going through the warranty process. If not, try taking it somewhere for repairs. The blue light of death is very frustrating to deal with. I know I've had it a few times myself with various consoles, but most of the time it's an easy fix and most of the time it has to do with either the HDMI cable, the ports on the TV, or in some cases the TV itself. So if you do have a different TV to try your PlayStation 5 Slim on, it's recommended to try that first before taking it somewhere for repairs. But hopefully this video has helped you fix your blue light of death on your PlayStation 5 Slim, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.